get on here and come up here and show it. Um, let's go ahead and let's actually prove, because I know some of you are like, how do you know, Ms. McGogan, that these rules work? So let me prove it with one of these rules, all right? What if I said log base 2 of 8 plus log base 2 of 32? What if I said to do that? Well, you guys would know by, um, uh, no, I don't want to do it that much. Let's do, sorry, that's just too high that I want to work with. Four, let's do four, that's fine. We'll do four now. I'll keep it a little bit simpler, just so you guys can see it. All right, now, if we were going to apply this, we know that equals log base two of 128. I'm going to get to it in a second. But yeah, you multiply them. 4 times 32 equals 128. Yes? <laughs> what does it tell you? When you add a logarithm plus another logarithm, you multiply them. You x multiply the x times the y. Right? As long as they have the same base, though. These have the same base, so it's the same thing as, maybe write it, maybe write it like this. This is the same thing as log base 2 times 4 times 32. Yeah? And that is log base 2 of 128, correct? OK. So now let's go and determine, though, can we see what each one of these answers are? What's log base 2 of 4? 2. 2 raised to what power gives you 4? The answer is 2. Plus log base 2 of 32, which is 2 raised to what power gives you 32? Two plus five is seven. Two raised to how many powers gives you 128? Seven. So do you guys see, do you see how that works? OK, so now let's do your problem, what you were saying. So you said, Ms. McLuggan, what if the bases aren't the same? So let's, do, let's make it easy. Log base 2 of 4 um, plus log base 3 of 9, right? So if we were to apply this, now first of all, we have a problem. What base are we going to choose? right? Because when you condense these, you only write them as one base. So what base are you going to choose? Two or three? Two? Well, let's go even figure our answer. Two raised to what power is four? Two. Three raised to what power is nine? Two. And then, and then anyways, even if you added these, you would have log base whatever you want to do equals 13. So this equals four. So are you going to, you know, what number are you going to raise to the fourth power that's going to equal 13? Do you see how that just like doesn't compute or work? You have to have the same bases for you to apply this rule. If you don't have the same bases, what base are you going to choose? Wait, why'd you add 9 and 4? Oh, you multiply. Yeah, you're right. 36. Okay, sorry. Thank you. I don't know what I was doing. You're adding 36. You're right. But anyways, you have to have um, 4 raised to that power to give you 36. But which base are you going to use? 2 or 3? And if you use 2, 2 raised to the fourth power does not give you 36. No, it doesn't. Uh, 3 raised to the fourth power does not give you 36. You, right? you see what I'm saying? How when you don't have the same base, it, does, it doesn't work. You can't, what are you going to use as your base to get to 36 for it to equal 4? See what I'm saying? So you just can't do it. Yeah, you just have to compute these individually. OK? All right, I'll do one last problem, and then I'll let you guys go, unless students are being talking.